Hello guys, my name is Tefura and welcome back again to Charnel House Trilogy Part 4 we are now. And as I have promised in the previous descriptions of these the series videos, there is now a little announcement before we start playing. The developer Owl Caves Studios or Owl Cal Games, yeah Owl Cave Games. Owl Cave Games have given me four keys to a previous title they have made, and it's also on Steam, Richard and Alice. So I got four keys to give away, and the way this is gonna work is once again the same same method that I've always used for giveaways, and that is to retweet a tweet that I will link down in the description below. You have to retweet that and follow me on Twitter, that way it's easy, that's the easiest way to manage those who particip participate and also that is a, goes with the YouTube's rules with giveaways. I can't ask any subscriptions or any comments on the video itself, so that's a no-go. But you can go to Twitter and follow me there and retweet it, the tweet. That is the best way to do it. Now. Uh, once again, I'll give you guys uh, a week to retweet the retweet the tweets as, to as many people as possible. Tell your friends about this little giveaway. That way, my channel gets to grow a little bit, also. So thanks for doing that, and good luck for anyone who participates. Now that's out of the way. Let's just jump into Chapultre, which the uh, as I yesterday. Uh, no, not yesterday, but when I edited the video of the third part, I actually googled what that, what that means, and it totally was not what I thought it would be. It had nothing to do with inhaling or exhaling or anything with your breathing systems or anything like that. It's actually some sort of place where a bo body is buried and it has to be carved from rock or something. In, or into a bedrock or something like that. I can't really remember. It was in the last video that I added that a little bit. But anyway, let's begin. I'm being <laughs> I, I've gone on a little jibbery jabbery there. Let's start with Chapultre. How do you pronounce that? Chapultre? Chapultre? I guess that would be it. So now we are playing as the Professor Man we saw you last time. Wicked shall hold their tongues. Sure. What does that mean? They stir. <clears throat> Beneath this silent world of saints and sinners, twixt the living and the dead. Okay. <laughs> You're creeping me out, sir. Still going. Can't have slept long. We left. Uh, we left. Oh God. When did we leave? Amnesia. Where did we leave? God damn. It's unnerving. Are people starting to forget who they are on this train? <coughs> Maybe I should fetch some water. The restaurant should be open now. And also, this train, carriage, this train room, it's the. It's with. Is the width of a train. <laughs> almost. I mean, this is huge. It's almost like a one-room flat. Holy shit. Let's have a look around. What do we have here, then? <laughs> Wallet. Yes. Dr. Lang, curator of the Krennicon Thames Museum. That's me, all right. All right, so you are from London. Not really that surprising. Oh, we got ID card. Well, that's good. No sense in taking the entire thing. Okay. Shutters down. Can I put it up? Shutters down. Ah, oh, it's no stuck. Use. Stuck. That's unfortunate. There was something that I was supposed to say, but oh yeah, the animation when he was kneeling that was weird. The Charnel House burial by Louis Cassel. <laughs> to think I don't get enough of the dead without pulp horror novels. Uh, just one vice. I like this guy. He is humorous and educated. 
comfy enough to sleep on, evidently. Yeah, well that is all very good. It's nothing interesting. Oh, it's a painting. Paintings. Uh, you could at least say what there is. I can sort of make out that that might be a industrial pipe there and some smoke coming out. Or it's a steamboat. It could be a steamboat and or a river boat. And here are the things that go turn around in the boat. What the fuck are they? The things that turn around. Oh, amazing, amazing, amazing. I guess we just go out of the door then, because there's nothing else here. Let's go stir up a drink or two. Maybe something strong is in order. Yeah. Some whiskey. Or scotch, or whatever. Okay, I'm Dr. Harold Lang. My destination is Augur Peak Island. I'm on this train to... To... <laughs> to cough. Yes. I'm, I'm going to evaluate some finds. They called me to... So either you are actually forgetting everything that is going on with your life because of this ghost train thing, or you are a fraud and he's just struggling to remember who he is supposed to be. We have two options for that now. Okay, door 1B, that's our room. Fire extinguisher, let's take it's nothing interesting. It's a fire extinguisher. I can't just cart around any old thing. Any old thing. Fire extinguishers are very old. A painting of a train. Train? Is it this one? No, looks too old. Maybe an ancestor. <laughs> you get very weird achievements by just looking at stuff. I got an achievement for old Gloria. I suppose that is the train. Yeah, now that you say it's a train, I can kind of see the resemblance. There's the front bit, there's some smoke coming out, and that's the uh, pilot, <laughs> train pilot. <laughs> oh, what is wrong with me? I keep forgetting the words. What is this door? Locked. I can't hear anyone inside. Yeah, we can't just barge in. Ticket inspector, who is also a dark wizard. Good evening, my friend. I was wondering if you could... Ah, yes. I've seen you poking around. Having trouble settling down, are we? <laughs> Something like that. Could do with a stiff drink about now? Right you are, then. Painting. Yeah, let's talk about the painting. That painting on the wall. Isn't she a beaut? Her eyes look clockwork, so she does. It's... This train. Uh, isn't it a little old? <laughs> you kids today have got no appreciation for machinery. <laughs> You've got to be the same age you first. Well, practically grew up in us, so I did. There's nothing about old Gloria that I don't know. Oh, that makes sense. Alright, so we can't go this way. Alright. Alrighty then, can I just take a look at him? A friendly looking fellow. Makes a change for public transport. Yes, very, very fucking friendly. You didn't see what he did to that cute bird. Well, it wasn't that cute, but whatever. Locked. Okay. Exit right. Locked? Isn't this the way out? Huh. Locked. Oh, okay. I have to keep clicking stuff on the... Right and left mouse button to see if there's any different interactions. Right, you are then. The door to the next carriage appears to be locked. Is that normal? Nothing's wrong, is it? Why would anything be normal? <laughs> you city folks always jump to conclusions. There's nothing wrong. It's just how we do things when our guests are asleep. It prevents prying eyes and swift fingers. Makes sense. Isn't that a bit of a fire hazard? How? <laughs> Let me tell you, if a fire breaks out in this train, then no amount of carriage doors are going to save you from roasting. If you catch my drift, it'd be a steel coffin if the unthinkable happened. Sheesh. Um, could you possibly unlock the door? I could really use a drink. Don't reckon I can, no. <laughs> can give you the key, though. On one condition. 
What is that? Make a contract with me. He's going to ask me to solve some ridiculous conundrum of his. Bring me back a shot of whiskey when you get back. Old Floyd will hook you up. Just tell him it's for Don. Oh, no problem, my friend. Thank you. I still know that he it can't be Stephen Merchant because now I after I found that Jim Sterling was in the game I read about who were the voice actors and Merchant wasn't one of them. I don't think he was, or have I completely just fucked up? Locked. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. There we go. Aha, uh -huh. open. There we go. Oh, another. No, that's a photograph, not a painting. Ah, better hurry to the restaurant. Don't want it to close before I can get Don's whiskey. Makes sense. Can we add a solemn-looking yeah. young woman? She's a little unnerving. It's bad enough looking at the picture, let alone carrying it around. It looks like Whistler's mother or something. That painting that was on the Mr. B movie. It's a, just a fire extinguisher again. Is there anyone locked as well? Locked. Well, everything is locked. He said that everything is locked. No good. I can't even get the key. In. Must be locked from the other side. Well. Ah, but. Do I use this? Not really something I want to try. Yeah, I was thinking that if you slide it there, maybe it helps or something. Well, if I can't get through there, then what the bloody hell can I do? Lock. All right. Fire extinguisher? I can't just cart It's nothing. Okay. Um We're again at the, some sort of an impasse here, guys. Do I just go and talk to the man that hey it's not working? Dude It's locked on the other side. The restaurant is locked. This key's no good. Ah. Floyd must be getting things ready. Just take your time, boy. Let him do his thing. He'll unlock it when he's good and ready. There's no rush, is there? Yeah, now it opened. We it had to come all the way here. I can hear that it opened. <laughs> or maybe someone else just and exited one of their rooms or something. Oh yeah. That door, for some reason, is open. Of course, we shall take a peek at it after we try if this door is open. Locked. No, so we're not supposed to go in here, then. Because why not? Oh, that's just fucking lovely. Ooh, that at least is a boat. I can tell that. So maybe my theory on that la our carriages room was correct in the assumption that these paintings are boat themed. Haha, <laughs> I got you there. Hello there. I'm sorry for the intrusion. I was just Uh He's muttering something. I can't make it out. I'm sorry? What was that? What what <laughs> maybe I should be going. I'm sorry to have bothered you. He doesn't seem to be able to open his mouth properly. I think I'd better leave. Uh, Maybe I should mention this to that ticket inspector. All right. Worm food, another achievement. A beautifully polished wooden box. It has a red teardrop-shaped gem set into the top. Well, that's just lovely. A huge black hold all. Looks very heavy. God knows what's inside. A body. Something. Zombie. Alright, goodbye. Is you, are you locked? Locked. Yes. So, is that her? On the photo, the lady? Lady, lady of the photo? Alright, so we just go around walking along this carriage room. These carriages, because why the fuck not? Grub. There's a man in one of the rooms in the next carriage. I don't think he's at all well. <laughs> we get some right crazies on the train sometimes, I'm telling you. You learn to leave them be after a while. Well, that's just fucking lovely. The, the wretched man can barely speak. Aye. 
and I'd be the same way after the amount of booze most of these boys have had. Is Floyd still not operating then? Not as far as I'm aware. Ah oh, well, give the boy time. Hey, if saw one of your fellow passengers pop her head at the room at the end of the corridor. Maybe you'd get a better conversation out of her. Pretty little thing, so she was. Thanks. Um, are you sure that she was... <laughs> I'm just gonna sleep now. <laughs> Pretty thing she was. <laughs> to look at this bu her bum. Her bum, yes. Sir. In here? Yes. Well, this was the right room. Hello. Hello. Okay, so that maybe is not a boat. Or, if we're gonna go with the boat theme, I would say that's a Viking ship. And it's coming kinda in an angle towards us, and it will go past us on the right, if that makes sense. It's a little Viking ship with no mast, though. Or a mermaid. Could be a mermaid. I'm gonna stick to the theme that they are. I can't just cart around. No. It's. Oh come on. It's not. Oh fuck yourself. Why can't I just? More large bags. Lovely. More large bags. A pile of paper dogs. They're not very well made. Okay, so those dogs kind of indicate that that's a dog as well, but it's a Viking ship with a dog on it. Well, there's no one here then. Unless I'm going to take one paper dog with me. As a child, I used to make origami like this. Where's the girl that ticket collector claims to have seen? I'm, mm, I'm sure she won't miss just one. Yoink. Could she be... Under... Nothing. But that sounded awfully like a door unlocking in the next carriage. Is Floyd ready for business? What the fuck was that about? Shuttered and sealed. Just like in my room. Oh, listen to that. Yeah, the restaurant carriage is open. We got some lovely music. Shuttered. Shut okay, we can't open that, alright. So we shall head back. Hello. Are you open for business? I would like for some scotch, yeah. <laughs> why, are we why are we German? I don't know. Hans. Hans. Food's getting cold. I haven't heard any sort of dinner bell. Are we supposed to just know when it's dinner time? Are any of these places for me, I wonder? Huh. Are there any names on them? Food's getting all right. Shattered and sealed. All right. Now this reminds me of Shining. Good evening, Floyd. Is it? Ah, Mr. Lang. How nice of you to join us. How do it's you? Doctor Lang, actually. But uh, who needs formalities in a place like this? <laughs> Quite. I suppose you're here on business. Business. I uh. A drink, Mr. Lang. That is what you're after, is it not? Perhaps a bite to eat first? Unfortunately, all our meals are reserved. By all means, have a drink, though. Pull up a stool. I'd better not stay. Your ticket collector, Don, I think it was, has tasked me with procuring him a glass of whiskey. Ah, yes, he did leave his hip flask here, thinking about it. It's right there on the bar. This one's on the house, Mr. Lang. Woohoo! Huh. It's empty. Nicely stocked, just the way I like it. They've got a pretty good range, considering this is a train. Flask's empty, Floyd. Better give me a shot of whiskey. No more freebies, I'm afraid, Mr. Lang. That'll be five pounds. Five pounds? I'm burying me alive here. Well, it's not that bad. We Don't we just have he the money? look too happy. I wouldn't either, if none of my dinner guests had shown up. Kind of a creepy fellow. Coming from someone who works in a museum, that's saying a lot. Uh, we do have a wallet, alright. I don't think so. What, what, what the? Nicely. Not really some. But, aren't we. Don't we want to pay? I don't think so. No more freebies, I'm. Well, I have the. Ah, uh, a bit of money. 
Nothing. Oh, I have to do Just that. What the doctor ordered. <laughs> By the way, five pounds, but I thought we were in New York. What? What? Hold on. Have I completely missed the fact that where we are geographically? Because I actually, th I thought we were in New York. I might, I must have just forgotten where we are because why would he ask for five pounds if we are not in America are we in England I don't know here you go my good man ah. excess is the path to ruin mr. Lang we wouldn't want you to go before your time would we I think I can manage just one more drink that's what they all say, isn't it, Mr. Lang? Just one more for the road? I can handle it. Never had difficulty driving before. And what about your liver, Mr. Lang? Can that handle just one more drink? God damn, Floyd, you always were a preachy son of a bitch, weren't you? What? I think you're quite mistaken, Mr. Lang. We've never met you and I. I just don't want you to do yourself an injury. I can handle one more goddamn drink, you stupid bitch. Just stay out of my way, and I'll stay out of yours. Oh. That's right, Mr. Lang. Let it all out. There's a good little puppy. What? What the hell? What did... What? That you really are a bad drinker, aren't you? I need to go, Floyd. It's been a pleasure, as always. As Aren't all... you forgetting your promise, Mr. Lang? Whiskey. For Don. Thank you. Once more unto the breach, dear friends. Yoink. I'm afraid you can't just take it, Mr. Lang, no matter how much you wish to. Oh. How much? It's not cheap, I'm afraid. Forty pounds should do it. What? I don't have that much money on me. I'm sure you'll find a way, Mr. Lang. You always do. But this is for Don. What? Why would he? Have to pay for credit card. Fuck you. Okay, here goes. Goodbye, bank balance. If you just enter your pin. Hmm. Now, what is my pin? I remember setting a number I can identify easily. I'm no good with memorizing numbers. Oh, fuck's sake. What could it be then? Dr. Harold Lang, Krennic on Thames Museum, badge ID CCPN 1318. It's that. It's that. 1318. Naha, look at me, I'm a genius. Thank you, Floyd. No, thank you, Mr. Lang. Why did we even. There we go. I guess we can just leave now. There's nothing else here. But what the fuck was that all about? Yeah, that's really something what like. Is happening to me? You're drunk. My head. I can't think. <laughs> oh, Mr. Lang, that pale man you met. I think he just wants a best friend. The pale man? Perhaps you're not quite what he's looking for. You are, after all, blind drunk. That's pale man. Good little puppy. Can we go over here again? I can't just. This isn't mine. Huh. I. He doesn't look very huh. well. That's if it's even a he. He looks positively sick, in fact. Oh, he wants a friend. A man's best friend is a prey for dog. Worth a try, I suppose. Hey, sir, this isn't quite man's best friend, but... <laughs> that seems to have done the trick. Oh, that worked. I think he wants me to open it. Well, open it then. There's an engraving here. He whose blood the earth's dark thirst doth quench, 
ascends into the heavens from her womb. Interesting. Wary. It's firmly attached. But hey, I think I can move it. A beautiful teardrop shaped ruby. I'm no gemologist, but I'd wager it's real. Lock. Ah, it's open. But oh the box is filled with earth and worms. Why? They're everywhere. Why would he lock something like this away? I have no idea. Let's give them some booze. Come on, worms, drink up. He's playing with the dog. Best leave him. Alright, so you can go back into this if you if we figure out something, but we just gonna leave leave him play with the dog. Uh we can go back again, alright. Just checking. Well, that was interesting. Tune in next time for some more weird shit. Oh, and the giveaway. Do that as well. Bye-bye.